YouTube, thanks for checking out LeboView, and today I want to talk about a GPS. Now, my GPS that I've had for the last three years is a Garmin Nuvi 3597 LMT HD. A lot of words, a lot of letters, but all that means is lifetime maps and traffic, and it has HD traffic, which is much faster. There's a lot faster updates. Some of the cool things about that one, whenever I was driving back from Myrtle Beach at one point, it told me there was a delay up ahead. However, the reroute would have taken me longer than just to stay in the delay so it suggested that I should just stay on that route and I did and it worked out just fine I want to talk about my new GPS and it has a lot of the same features as the old GPS so I'm gonna put a link down below for the old GPS video or somewhere in the description here click that it'll take you to the old GPS and you can take a look at it and see what you think about a lot of those features because this one here has a lot of those features too so what GPS am I talking about I'm talking about the Garmin Nuvicam it's the brand new one and it has a lot of those features except it has even more built into it this is the latest and greatest in their prestige series the thing about this one is it's a bigger screen it's six inch and it's glass i love it touch screen obviously pinch and zoom cool this one has a camera front facing built in 720 or 1080 it will store video on a loop on a memory card that you put into the gps and will allow you to continuously record if you're in an accident, there's a G-Shock sensor and you can set the sensitivity that will actually store your recorded session so you have evidence or insurance information that will show the accident. Also, you can take and pull the GPS off the dash and use it as a camera, take photos. As you're driving down the road, safely I may add, you can push the button on top and take snapshots of stuff. If you're driving down the road and you want to save the recording that you're going to be going through an area that's going to be beautiful, you want to store that, you can push the button on the screen and it will start recording and save that footage. It won't be in that loop that could be erased. Let me show you the GPS. Here we have the GPS plugged in, a lot of icons up top, a lot of normal features you see with a lot of the other Garmin GPSs. This one has one of the greatest features I love, just like that 3597 magnetic mount. The power goes into this through the receiver for the traffic. The power goes right into the mount. So whenever you pull this off, uh, it powers itself off and uh, you can just put this in your glove box or whatever. As soon as this gets powered on, which you can see how easy it goes in, it will go ahead and start recording automatically. Again, it's rewriting over that old footage. If you wanna see your unsafe footage, just click on the camera. It shows that it's recording. You can see up here, it says recording and it's got the big box that you can push X. Go into here, it says your, your recording and alerts are disabled while viewing the gallery. Uh, sure, I'll view the gallery, I don't care, I'm not going anywhere. Here's the unsafe footage. This is what's cool about this footage. I love this part. You can go through and see how much I have on a 64 gig card. We'll go down, let's go to an older one. Now let's try this one here. It will replay it and show you on the map where you were I love that so we'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit let's do that and it shows me where I'm at on the map you can see it moved me down the road and as I drive down the road so if you pass something you're like man I forgot about that and I wanted to remember that that truck off the side of the road was for sale where was that you click there and from that point you can go ahead and negotiate and find out where that was and send yourself there. On the bottom of the screen, it's always gonna give the date and the time and it's gonna give your longitude and latitude and the speed that you're traveling at. You can, if you want, for your recordings, turn on the audio or turn off the audio. I just don't know if there's a reason why I would wanna have audio on unless I was trying to document something. As far as the footage, let me show you the lane departure feature and you can see the quality. Now, before we go into that, I will say that this moves around because of my dash mount. This comes with a windshield mount and it would have made it much more solid and made the video come out a little bit better. But let's go to that footage real quick. All right, so here's a brief demonstration of what the audio sounds like. I'm not speaking any louder or quieter than I normally would. I'm kind of curious if the voice, how that picks up on the recording. He's flopping around here. Continue on the Honing Columbiana County Line Road. Yep. All right, I'll just let you listen to the drive now. 
Now this is mounted on the dash, and I'm kind of curious to how the footage comes out. That's the lane departure telling me that I was going left to center. Which I wasn't. Sometimes this picks up some odd things. It might be picking up the uh, shadow from the power cables. Because those are actually more defined than the uh, faded, painted, dotted lines. definitely what it is. Okay, so you can see what that footage looked like. It was pretty decent and not bad. And you can see the issues that I had with the lane departure. The other nice thing is this has the ability to link with your smartphone. There's an app on the smartphone that'll allow you to pick places, choose places, anywhere that the app can find, which the app is basically tied into a search for all the internet. And you can then send it to your navigator. I demonstrate that on my old video. Again, the link's going to be down below for the old video on the old GPS. Uh, click that. It'll take you right to it. The nice thing about these Garmin's is they hold their value. That old GPS that I had, I had it for three years. I kept it in pristine condition. I kept all the packaging in pristine condition. And after three years' time, I got $180 for it in trade-in. That's whenever I picked up this one. There's a lot of features that this has that's standard on a lot of the other GPSs that Garmin offers, and I want to talk about them. And the one thing is, is the HD digital traffic. Now, any GPS that just has the T in it means traffic, and it's free. You have a receiver that you plug into your outlet that will send information to the unit, and those traffic updates are about every two minutes or so. Now you can subscribe to a service for your phone called Live Traffic and that will stream back and forth to the GPS and give you alerts live. But it is a subscription service and your phone's always staying busy and possibly running it down whenever you're doing that. The one that I like is what these come with and that's HD digital traffic and it's free. The digital traffic, there's no subscription fees, there's no advertising and it's for the useful life of your device. It will receive traffic updates as often as every 30 seconds. HD digital traffic is voice activated, so it responds to spoken requests. It can give you details about the situation, about how many minutes delay to expect and if there are any possible detours. It's delivered straight to this mount right here. It doesn't require anything with your phone to be connected. As you're driving down the road and you're getting closer to your destination, once you get close to where you need to be, if you've entered an address that it recognizes clearly, as you get closer to the destination, the map will disappear from the screen and you will go to a live camera mode that the camera is currently seeing out the front. But in addition to what you're seeing on the screen as far as the camera mode, you will also get an arrow that points to the house that you're trying to get to. Is it 100%? No, I'll tell you that off the bat. Is it pretty good? Yeah, it's not bad. It's picked up quite a few places that I've tried it out on. So it's a nice feature if you don't want to hunt down in the middle of the night, it may get you to where you need to be without looking at house numbers. The nice thing about this one and the old one is the way that it uses landmarks as you drive down the road. So it'll tell you to turn right at the gas station. It'll tell you to go past the museum and then make a left. It talks as if you have a passenger in the passenger seat giving you those same type of directions. Instead of saying like second road, make a left, it'll basically tell you something else to look for other than a road or a sign. If you're going down the interstate and you come up to a complex interchange and there's multiple lanes that you can be in, there is a photo reel junction view that will come up and actually tell you which lane to take. It splits the screen and will show you basically what you're looking at as a photo. It's not from the camera, it's something that's stored into the map software that will show you what it looks like for that interchange and will give you lane guidance. It'll tell you what lane to be in. Also, there's a four square feature that's on here and that'll show you like trending areas, points of interest, stuff like that. Um, that's on my last review, so check that 
review out for that feature. Also, as you're driving along, this will tell you what the speed limit is in the area that you're at. Um, it will also give you your current speed at the bottom of the screen. And if you are going over the speed limit, it will slowly turn red the faster you go over the speed limit until it's all red if you're going really fast. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> Whenever you're driving through an area and you're not familiar with it, you might get an alert that pops up on top of the screen that says school zone warning. It basically will tell you what the speed limit is, which is 20 miles an hour for most places. As you leave the school zone, that alert will go away and return you back to the recognizable speed limit for that area. One of my favorite features on this, which I'll demonstrate, and I did in my other video too, being able to talk to the GPS and letting it do the work for you. Voice command. Say a command. At this point, I have a lot of choices. Down. You can see there's a few more there. Brightness. Brightness is at 100%. Maybe you're driving down the road and it's at night and it's dimmed down because it has an automatic dimmer, but it wasn't enough. So you want to dim it manually. 40. Brightness is at 40%. 100. Brightness is at 100%. Back. Main menu. Volume. Volume is at 100%. 40. Volume is at 40%. 100. Volume is at 100%. Back. Main menu. Up. Now you don't have to say that up or down. Uh, it will know what you say if you know a couple of the other things that are down below it'll recognize that find place speak the name of a place mcdonald's searching for mcdonald's select a line number and there's all the choices that i have locally to me maybe i want to go further away down 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 four would you like to begin navigation? It gives me a chance. Maybe I want to just see when they're open or if they've got a special. Exit. So there's a lot of nice features on here. I, I can't even begin to cover them all. You can actually have this routing you to a destination and as you're driving along, you can add another destination and you can do that all through voice command. You do not have to do any of it manually the other thing is is this is linked to my phone i can either place my calls through here or i can actually send addresses through the smartphone link that are in my contacts maybe i've synced my phone with my google contacts and there's addresses in there i can send those addresses to the navigator to where i don't have to enter all that information so with all that said there's a lot of features on this thing there's some options that i wanted to have that my old gps didn't have and the main thing was this one offers the ability to add up to four cameras where I can put a backup camera on my vehicle and I can see it as I drive down the road on this big six inch screen. It's a wireless camera. I can also add one to the back of my RV. And as I drive down the road, I can send the signal from my RV to the GPS so I can see who's tailgating behind me or if I'm trying to back in a tight location I can turn that camera on and I can see what the back of my unit is seeing as I back it in so it's really awesome there's a ton of features on this thing the links gonna be down below for my old GPS video and the links gonna be down below for this GPS to purchase it click the link it's gonna give you a few options once you're in there you can look at used ones you can look at refurbished ones and of course you can buy brand new if you want to do it that way well, I appreciate you watching as always. If you like this video, click like or subscribe and I'll try to get more on just like it. Thanks. Bye.